lot of people have made reviews about this blaster. Uh, Coop did one. I think Drac did one. Um, a lot of people have disassembled this, all this stuff. Why would a review from me about a Nerf pistol, maybe the most n important Nerf pistol of the year, I'll, I'll say it right off the bat. Do you guys remember last year's important pistol of the year? You guys remember that? It was the Chronomag. Just type the word Chronomag in YouTube and you will see a plethora of my videos of all the things I've done with it uh, in the last year. The speed hook, uh, adding a Merlin to it, uh, putting an 18.5 in it, making it clock up to 300 feet per second when people are pulling like 200s. Well, this right here is one of the most important pieces of this year. Let me show you the reason why. Because I can do this. That's the reason. Oh, yes. That's right. So, the Quadrot has four ARs, smart ARs. It listed for $9.99 at Target. It comes with four darts, which are enclosed, which is nice, but kind of different. They're not clearly, they're not in a clear package showing off the darts. They're just kind of in there. I don't know if they're, they're printed Zombie Strike, not printed Zombie Strike, what have you. And it looks like a pretty interesting blaster. So let's check it out, shall we? There's just one thing that could limit it to ultra match status. And we'll have to take it apart to find out. So let's get to it. Square is the coolest thing I like about this blaster so far is that you don't have to do a lot to get it out of the package. That should have been two snips. It's going to be three. Two snips gets it out of the package. Boom. Bingo. Just like that. It's got good balance. Very nice. Um, oh, that is a crisp. Oh, that just feels so crisp and nice. I'm not... I don't dig the aesthetics that much. I do dig the structure of it. Also, the fact that the aesthetics kind of adds a lot of beams, a lot of, a lot of right angles to this side. So that could strengthen it. Like right now, I'm bending it like this. This is a test I did on the Fire Strike and the Star Shot as well when I first got it. And I didn't put it on camera, but I did it. I bent it. I feel a little creep between the shells, but that's only the screws. And off the top of it, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. And it looks like these three can be left. So you only have to undo seven screws. You guys remember last week when we took, a, or a week or two ago, when we took apart the. Um, the Bulldog, oh my god, do you guys remember how many screws that thing had? It was insane. This thing feels solid. It's nice. It's got a nice white grip. And look at this. Look at this. Ed Scar. Look. Yeah, it touches, but it barely touches when you pull the finger. It has a lot nicer of a grip that extends this farther out. It's kind of like the Sharp Fire, but more comfortable. The grip does look really small, but even the guy with big hands like me, you know, physique of a professional wrestler pretty good. I mean, I can prime like 28k or 32k out of a blaster. That's how strong I am. So I got big, strong hands. This actually feels it feels comfortable. It has this kind of duct tape kind of wrap to it. And it actually it looks junky, but it actually looks cool. But that's the whole physique of the start of, of the whole Zombie Strike series. Is it supposed to look that way? So let's fire this at Mr. Uh, Prisoner up there, you know, J.I. Joe Spaceman, <laughs> and see how it does. I love the balance. Ooh, this is going to be a really nice blaster. I'm just worried about the two things I'm worried about right now, the ARs and the plunger. Can it go all the way like that fire strike you saw earlier? Let's find out. Okay, also should be noted it has four darts, and I didn't take them out of the package because, well... I have tons of darts, but let's take them out anyway. So you cut this right here, little tape thing, and I can go in here, and there are my four darts. Yeah, they are unprinted darts. Let's see what the coating is on them, shall we? These look like A's or W's. They are... Uh, wow, that's weird. W's. Yeah, they're W's. They're W types. And, and everybody remembers back in the day when you had, you had T types, you had W types, you had all these different types of darts. 
and you notice that certain ones fed through brass a lot better than others. Oh no, I'm getting ambushed again! It's okay, they're my buddies, they're my friends. But, but yeah, you can see it. The W types are very nice. I forget which one was the inferior type, but there was an inferior type of dart. I know we're all aftermarket this day and age, but still. As you know from any, uh, any of blaster, this is a front-loaded blaster. So the uh, darts go in. It feels actually very snug compared to a lot of them. I know this is a lot like a crossfire with the four ARs and the uh, strong arm type uh, plunger tube to it, or I should say rough cut, even though it's the same volume as the strong arm. Um, but it's smaller. I like this. I remember seeing the original, uh, the original cross cut and going like, oh god, a crossbow. And going, God, you know, it really, it really, they really should make it a pistol. And years later, they finally did. Okay, so let's see how accurate this is. Okay. So shot to number one. Also, the sights, it's just flat across. No peg, no anything. But I see a nice place to glue a peg right there. And maybe two right here. So you could probably put functional sights on this if you wanted to. Ooh, that just barely, ooh, you, you just barely missed. But I'll get you with the next shot. I uh, got a string, but that's the only thing around. That's shot number two. And the shot number three. Shot number four. Yeah, it, it, it the dart, the barrels seem to be a little mm, 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 this way, and I, I suspect that is because the airlet crowns aren't even. And you're going to see this problem a lot more when you mod it, because you're going to have higher exit pressures. And when you have higher exit pressures, these 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 barrels are going to affect it. And I do kind of like the fact that they get small as you go because you have less air, less effective air compression as you go because it's a smart AR. But I wish they would have continued the trend to making this one small too. Which honestly, if I were to mod this without any brass, that's what I would do. I would go big, this one, this one, and then I would file this one to be next step down. Just to, just to have that form and functionality. Because one of the problems that smart ARs have is you lose the availability of pressurized air as you're going down the AR, but yet you have more total air to deal with. And a slightly smaller barrel does help with that. Now let's see how this thing cronies, shall we? I understand one thing. I know my, my, my room looks a little bit like I live in HUD housing or something, but I don't. I don't. I just... I'm always tinkering with stuff. I have tons of toys, stuff I have to break out all the time. And I do kind of live like the dude, or El Deuterino, or El Deuteronomy, if you're not into a whole brevity thing. So let's give this thing a chronograph between the four barrels and, um, and with, with, the, with the darts that come with it. Okay? Let's see how we do here. The first, the first shot got a solid 75 feet per second. If you can't see that, there it is, 75. I got a solid 75 feet per second out of the first shot. I went down 5 feet per second on the second shot to 70. 70 feet per second. The next shot I got a 67. And the last one. 64. So it's almost mathematical. As you go down the barrels, it's going to go slower. We started with a really nice velocity of 75 feet per second, which is about uh, slightly above average for, let's say, a fire strike type pistol. But then it went down as it went down. And this is what I was talking about, the barrels being smaller, that filing this down to be, co to be consistent with the other barrels is actually not a bad idea if you're going to mod it. Uh, if you want to have the function of the ARs, Unless it's they're rubber padded, which I, I highly doubt that they are, um, you are going to you're probably not going to brass it, and you probably will want to do that. You'll probably want to keep it open bolt. So yeah, I you, I saw a consistent 75, 70, and on down from there. All right, so I zoomed it in just a little. Let's disassemble this blaster, shall we? Okay, so here we go. Let's open this up. Ah, 
it does look like this is bound to the shell. So let's open this. Kind of sad that they didn't make these separate. Mm, let's take a look. Okay, so I undid these three right here. It does look like you have to undo all these screws. You don't have a choice. Uh, that slides out right there. And you got your internals right there. Uh, you know, a one really good mod might be this and this stay together. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm so glad this is not a low inertia pistol, piston like the Bulldog. Because it does look like it can take um, ultra match mods. And I'm really happy if it can. That's my first impression of seeing this. A second is that instead of using a flexible plunger like the Fire Strikes have, which have always been the, the fealty of the Fire Strikes, that you always either have to, like on, the, on that 200 foot per second one, that's got a fiberglass reinforced, steel reinforced, uh, orange Modworks rod, which by the way, you n very, very few, few people can get. The, debatably, they have between 100 and 250 in product, ever put into production, and I think that's kind of sad. But I like this so far. Good. It's Fire Strike hardware. Now let's take this apart. I did see a picture of it taken apart, but what I did not see was this plunger taken out. And oh, this is so nice. I can, this is ABS. I can easily coat this with crazy glue and fill this with epoxy, but do I have to? Look at all that cross ribbing on the inside. Wow. I can just basically snap this off of here. Uh, epoxy this back on here or screw it on here. I can put a screw channel in here and epoxy a screw in here and that would be great. Um, there's just there's no bend on this plunger rod. This is a great improvement over your standard fire strike pistols by far. Okay. And then I got the whole AR assembly in. Whoa! Did you just see that? I was able to take this whole thing out of the AR out of the AR channels. Oh wow. So I can do this. I can like take this and drill out all these AR channels to fire all at once. Or, yeah, oh, this is really cool. But sadly, yeah, uh, these AR pegs do not have any rubber on the inside of them. But I'm not going to lose faith because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill each one of these with rubber. Uh, actually, silicone glue. And we're going to see how that works. That's the first mod I'm going to do on these. All my AR springs come out just like that. Oh, this is so cool. So I can just, and according to the picture I saw, okay, no, that doesn't come out, but wait a minute, let the pegs come out. Wait, 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 wait. According to the picture I saw, mm, okay, your results may vary. Uh, a picture I saw online is that you can actually pull, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's tight, but oh, I can get to my pegs. Oh, this is great. They finally made this scalable, just like they did the, oh, this is so cool. And I can make these barrel housing for like four brass barrels. I don't even have to use this if I don't want to. Oh, awesome. I can get to my, my AR, my plug. Oh, 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 dude, this is so cool. Oh, so I can I can probably substitute this for a normal fire strike and go single, or I can uh, put this on here. I can work with this AR housing. Oh, dude, this is so dang cool! I could just drill a big hole between here and then seal it up here, and I can fire all at once, or I can pad these with like some silicone glue, let them sit overnight, and then. Uh, I can put I can put brass on these and it would seal properly just like a troublemaker triad Which I think is going to be my next move. I'm not sure Look at this thing <gasps> Wow This is this is so impressive. I can take everything out of here No problem. I kind of wish that this and this stayed together. Uh, I do but that's okay Look how scalable this blaster is this has got to be the most scalable smart AR blaster I have ever seen. Finally, you can get into the smart AR and do some damage. This is awesome. Okay, smart ARs do go in one a, a certain way. They go in, you see where this notch is right here? Goes into this, this, this vent rib right here. Yeah, just like that. Oh, I'm loving this. So, I mean, I can just put this whole thing back together, right? I could do whatever modifications I want to the pegs, to all this, and yeah, this is getting heavily modded, uh, because, yeah, and then I can put my springs back in, like such, 
my four my four AR springs. And yes, ARs are in fact very important. Look at that. Look at that. I believe they go small in uh, big front. Yeah. No, wait. Strike that reverse. Yeah, actually they go big uh, back, small front. There we go. There you are. I'm liking this. I'm really... Oh, oh, but this is a little tricky to, dis to reassemble. Let's try. You can take all the ARs out if you want to. That may actually work too. I wouldn't... I would have ARs in, and the reason I would keep the smart ARs, but I would port them all, is so when one flies out, if you have the three, other three or two or one stuck in the barrel, the three will fly and the one will stay there. The ARs help on a, on a shotgun uh, mechanism help regulate the air. So when one is out, it closes and the other three fire. So what you want to do that where you want to do it is in here. Where you want these all to be conjoined, but you still want to keep your AR structure because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. So I just line this up to that, that to that. And, oh, that is so clever. That this is ah this is by far this could be blaster of the year. Last year it was the Kronos, and then you line this up so your half moon is on the top, as so. Push that back in. It's such a simple blaster. I love this, and it goes together so nice and so well. Oh, wow, yeah. And I saw pictures of it, but no real explanation. And also, they didn't take the, this out of here. So I didn't know what kind of catch it was. This is the most important part. Because this is Fire Strike compatible, I can do my Fire Strike mods, and we all know what that means. <laughs> That's the reason. Oh, yes. So, let's put this back together. It may be in the final video. It may not. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, here's another thing. They put a nice freaking cat spring on here. This is nice. Ooh, they meant to mod this. I can tell they wanted to make this one mod friendly. Oh, Hasbro, for once, thank you. I know I'm always calling out your, your your interns and some people unqualified staff and this and that, but whoever built this is not unqualified. This person knows what they're doing. Whoever designed this for you really hit it. Oh, look, it even has a size on here, 5 16ths. Like, this is supposed to be like a 5 16th bolt. That is so cool. Oh, geez, it's got this whole handmade look. And this time it doesn't look cheesy. It looks good. It actually looks like it goes with the blaster. Um, I'm not sure if I can get more post compression out of this, but if anything, I can probably move up this plunger and put a, put a larger spring. Oh, wow, I love that spring. Oh, it's nice and tight. No wonder it has such a good feeling to it. Oh, we all know nice and tight things have nice and tight good feelings to them. Yeah, I know. But, you know, it's... Uh, Ah, uh, this comes together all nicely. I, I know I make this look a little easier. I, I've taken parts apart uh, Fire Strike probably in the thousands of times since I was the one who developed the Ultra Match Fire Strike, among many other mods: the Sharp Fire, the Bird of the Sharp, the Ultra Match Sharp Fire, the Bird of Prey, the Chrono Mag. Uh, I, I know I'm kind of used to this, but no, this is actually easy for most people to mod. So. Right off the bat, I'm giving this an absolute 10 for versatility. I have never seen such a versatile pistol in my life. Not even a fire strike, in my opinion, because a fire strike had limits and certain things you had to get around in order to do this. You don't even have to buy an upgraded catch spring. The thing has it. Dude, I, I really should, like, just mod this thing. As a matter of fact, live tomorrow, 5 p.m. That's right. Cartea is going Two, you got it. Go live. And we are going to work on this very blaster. I'm going to take out the Smart ARs tonight and glue them. But that will be episode four. So if you see this in the future, look for episode four of Cartea Live. This is the one where I will be modding this blaster. Probably to a modded stock form, not really brass barrels. But it will at least give you an idea of how to do this stuff. Wow. So as of this printing, um, as of this publication, this pistol has got to be one of the most versatile uh, small pistols I have ever seen Nerf make. Uh, it, 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 nothing is solvent welded on the inside. I don't know if maybe they ran out of glue in the factory or something crazy like that. I don't know. But I do know this is a really good move. 
I don't know if the next batch is going to be glued. I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, but this is really nice. The metallic green looks really good in the light, in the sun. It spins really nice. It's easy to disassemble, and it works with the standard Fire Strike mods. My Fire Strike mods. Let's show that wonderful bean footage again. Show what a Fire Strike can do. That's the reason. Oh, yes. That's right. Do I Am I going to mod this to shoot like 200 feet per second? No, probably more like 160, 170. But you can imagine this thing is going to be really great. So until next time, th this is Chris Cartea. It, it works really well with the Fetch Force Darts, too. Don't you go changing or I'll find you. I had to do it again for, for good measure. See this? I listened to this guy way too much.